Welcome to Small Giants MSME in the spotlight powered by Hugro Capital and partnered by Etinow and Etinow Swadesh. A five episode special series where we embark on a journey to unveil the unsung heroes of India's economy. Throughout the series, we aim to uncover the immense importance of micro, small and medium enterprises in driving India's economic growth. In this episode, come along as we delve into how MSMEs have tackled the challenges on their journey towards progress and growth. India's micro, small and medium enterprises constitute the dynamic and vibrant backbone of the nation's economy. Spanning across various industries and sectors, these enterprises play a pivotal role in driving India's economic growth. However, the MSMEs have encountered obstacles, especially within the tax system. But now, GST, Okin and account aggregators have emerged as transformative forces reshaping how these enterprises operate. So, MSMEs, of course, is an important pillar for the Indian economy with almost 29% of the GDP being covered by this sector. Uh, GST has had an overall positive impact for the sector. A, there has been a single registration which is now required under GST as against the multiple registrations which we required under the erstwhile excise, service tax, central sales tax, state VAT and there were multiple compliances which have all been folded into a single uh, compliance as such. Compliance is also simplified to a great extent with everything being uh, recorded electronically and uh, also the credit matching concept which is uh, available online for all uh, transactions granting the ease of business for the sector. So GST has streamlined many difficulties of previous regime. Uh, the classification of products is based on international HS based system which is also used for exports and imports. Almost all classification disputes have become uh, redundant. Uh, so this helped a lot to the Indian exporters and importers. Secondly, the GST rates are finalized by GST councils and slabs are 5%, 12%, 18% and 28%. For MSME, um, having a single compliance actually was very uh, required one. But if you see the earlier one, there were a lot of compliance requirement was there, either VAT, excise, service tax or many other local tax which is there was actually become a burden for them. And having the knowledge in the organization is also going to be a daunting task and they were depending upon too many um, external consultant for these things. Okin, which is the Open Credit Enablement Network, empowers MSMEs with custom financial solutions and expert guidance, fueling growth and innovation in the sector. Okin, we call it uh, Open Credit Enablement Network. It's an open network. An open network means that it is a way of bringing many people together uh, in a network. Uh, and uh, the purpose of this is to enable short tenor cash flow lending and uh, so really the purpose is credit short tenor cash flow lending and uh, it is to bring many people so to do short tenor cash flow lending you need a village to make it happen so you need of course a lender but you also need many other people you need somebody who will do the kyc somebody who will help disperse the money somebody who will collect the money somebody who will find the borrower so that they can be part of this network uh, so there are many people who have to come together so what oaken does is it gives a system that everybody can use to come together to be able to be able give a loan a short tenor cash flow loan without collateral collateral free loan uh, to a borrower in a way that is so inexpensive that it becomes profitable for the lender recently the gst data is also being shared with ocen to ensure that a complete view of the business is available to the lenders for ensuring that when they are granting credits to the buyers it is done on suitable documentation basis 
So it's a combination of MSME becoming more competitive, more digitized, and being able to you know give their product and services across the country, and credit being loaded on top of that. And that's why we keep saying that we are in an Amrit Kal, wherein the explosion of credit for MSME is really possible. India has over 63.39 million MSMEs employing 111 million people and contributing 30.27% to the country's GDP. However, they struggle with two main hurdles, getting funds and reaching markets. MSMEs in particular, their major problem is they buy on with cash and they sell on credit. And usually they are the smaller player in a transaction, so they don't have power over their buyer. Uh, and that's what creates the cash crunch. So in a vicious cycle, they tend sometimes to borrow at 6 or 10% a day. So the idea is how can you bridge these small ticket loans? And they usually need small ticket loans needed for short tenures, but nobody has ever given them formal credit. So what happens is it becomes a chicken and egg problem. Banks usually don't like to give credit to people who don't have track record and the, the borrower doesn't get loans because they have no track record. So how do you solve this problem? So if you look at the MSME sector, what is their major challenge? They actually buy on cash but have to sell on credit, which means they are always in requirement of funding. While the business may be profitable, but at a cash level, you always have challenge. This is where ONDC, the open network for digital commerce, steps in. ONDC aims to boost MSMEs by aiding lending and enhancing their online market access. If I had to describe ONDC in two sentences, it's markets for sellers and choice for buyers. The idea is how can we bring on sellers even which are not currently on these markets. Okay, obviously you want to bring on uh, guys who are on these marketplaces and reduce their cost of interaction. And secondly, also bring on people who are not so that you create markets for them. And what does that mean? Uh, like, you know, we have uh, Kanjivaram sari makers in the south who are now on ONDC. So you could actually go to like a Paytm app and search for saris and buy saris off the network. Uh, there, you know, Mandeshi has played a very large role in bringing uh, ladies in Satara, in the, you know, in, in Maharashtra uh, to sell masalas on the network. So the idea is bring in more inventory and people who aren't online, can you provide them with markets? And what we do, what ONDC is, uh, is provides the connectivity. We are in a country with, who is stimulating entrepreneurship. We have entrepreneurs in small towns, villages and big cities and everywhere. As of now, the digital commerce is all about merchants from big cities selling to the consumers from big cities. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there is nothing called a next phase to jump out from what we started, mm -hmm. but to expand and enable this large network. And then my ultimate dream, which I always say, mm -hmm. is that every product or service mm -hmm. which is catalogable will be in this network and diverse kind of buying applications like what you see in PTM will come and help their buyers to buy what is relevant. GEM is India's government e-marketplace, which is revolutionizing procurement, connecting buyers and sellers seamlessly. It fosters transparency and efficiency in transactions, reshaping the marketplace experience. GEM is an initiative which was started in 2016-17 at the behest of our Honorable Prime Minister when he declared his uh, war on corruption. And one of the first things uh, that he mentioned was that we should look inwards and try and minimize or eliminate corruption in public procurement by the government. So that is how GEM was born, replacing the erstwhile DGSND. So this was envisaged as a procurement uh, portal wherein everything will be done transparently efficiently in a cashless manner. We have done close to 6 lakh crore of uh, business and uh, with over about, about uh, nearing 2 crore transactions. And a fair amount of that is meant for, uh, is done through the MECs. I would say not even MSMEs, but MECs, micro and small enterprises. Uh, today, even uh, uh, in this current year, we have crossed about 2 lakh 30 thousand crore, of which about 45% has been done by MSC sector only. We do things very transparently. We are a category-based uh, procurement system wherein we have close to 11,000 plus product categories and about 300 plus service categories. The initiative of government e-marketplace or GEM portal 
has been very successful. Uh, the 8.5 lakh micro and small enterprises on Gem portal have secured business worth of 1.87 lakh crore. Just like Gem, the introduction of account aggregators in the lending industry has been a game changer. The job of an account aggregator really is to democratize data for small and medium businesses who really don't have collateral to put up uh, for borrowing. Uh, the only collateral that they have is their own data. The way we're seeing it uh, changing lending is becoming very, very precise, very targeted and very, very affordable. Empowering secure and swift lending decisions, the system is changing the way loans are processed, fostering a new era of efficiency and trust. Now with the uh, whole account aggregator ecosystem and the way it's built, um, access to the information for lenders becomes much easier because now the entire infrastructure is, uh, it's an open architecture, the infrastructure is now digital um, and the borrower themselves are also involved in giving out their information basis a consent. With the A infrastructure, uh, you know, firstly information is available instantly, um, it's uh, securely available. Um, there is no fraudulent information, so that means if someone has to do uh, look at the cash flow position of the SM MSME, then their bank statement can be instantly accessed. Uh, and now with GST also coming onto the AA network, it becomes a complete, uh, uh, you know, holistic view of the financial position of the uh, borrower as well as getting to know, uh, you know, what are their cash flow and that. Uh, moving towards this whole cash flow based lending will then streamline the process of lending and of course loans can be disbursed or loan offers can be given to the borrowers uh, you know in within a matter of couple of minutes uh, itself if an sme can pull together his bank statements his gst and records and plenty of other uh, you know uh, financial data all of them coming together makes it very easy for a lender to quickly process a loan and disperse it just in time. Today, there is enough data. There are over 1 billion bank accounts that can be discovered and linked through an account aggregator. What we'll see in the next uh, year or two is a lot of adoption, a lot of usage by lenders, which are traditionally you know, doing asset-based lending or collateral-based lending. So I think the next couple of years, we will see a UPI-like spike. Like, um, you know, uh, frankly, we feel like account aggregator today, today is where UPI was in 2016. On the other hand, the Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative has proven to be a crucial boon for MSMEs by fostering innovation, self-reliance and catalyzing their growth within India's economy. Uh, the concept of Atmanirbhar Bharat is good, uh, whereby special concessions are given to Indian suppliers in government procurement. But micro and small enterprises in any case have access to at least 25% site aside in, in public procurement. The other elements of Atmanirbhar Bharat policy is seen in providing the higher protections to domestic companies uh, through quality control orders. The government has also encourages uh, use of domestically produced goods such as khadi and traditional products. Overall, it has expanded market for many segments of MSMEs. GST, Okin and account aggregators have ushered in a new era for Indian MSMEs. As we celebrate this transformation, we see MSMEs gaining strength and playing a crucial role in India's path to prosperity. In this segment, we are excited to present MI Technoplast as our featured MSME, an exceptional company that has not only doubled its profits in the last one year, but has also expanded its operations and is poised to grow its business across different regions of the country. MI Technoplast, a front-runner in Pune's industrial landscape, specializes in crafting precision plastic molds for India's leading corporations. 
With a commitment to innovation and quality, MI Technoplast has become the go-to manufacturer for esteemed giants across diverse industries. Their cutting-edge approach and dedication to meeting the stringent demands of clients have positioned them as a leading MSME. On this episode, we caught up with the visionary managing director, Saket Kumar, to delve into MI Techno Plus's journey, solutions and the impact of their craftsmanship on India's industrial sphere. However, what began as a passion ultimately held a profound significance to Narendra Modi's Make in India initiative. जो हमारा फील्ड है इस फील्ड में मैक्सिमम मोड्स जो है वो चाइना और कोरिया दे आर द एक्सपर्ट इन मोल्ड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग विद फास्ट डिलीवरी एंड गुड क्वालिटी तो जब हम एक्स वाई जेड कहीं भी कोई भी कंपनी में जब काम कर रहे थे तो वहाँ पे कुछ ऐसा आ, मतलब हम लोगों ने फील किया कि जो हम इंडिया में कर सकते हैं वो शायद हम जहाँ पर जॉब कर रहे हैं वहाँ पर कर नहीं पा रहे हैं तो वहाँ पे हम लोगों ने एक ये आ, सोचा कि जो इंडिया में अगर ये हो सकता है फिर भी लोग चाइना जा रहे तो चाइना से रोकने के लिए इंडिया में क्या करना पड़ेगा ये सोच के हम लोगों ने कुछ तो वो हमारा इंटरनल कुछ हमारा आ, जो थॉट्स था उस पर हम लोगों ने कुछ दिनों तक काम किया लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स वन ईयर हम लोगों ने कंपनी स्टार्ट करने से पहले उसके ऊपर सोचा कुछ और अभी तक जो हमारा जॉन नहीं रहा है उसमें उस चीज़ का थोड़ा बहुत तो इम्प्रूवमेंट मिला है बाकी आगे हम लोग कुछ टेक्नोलॉजी के ऊपर भी काम कर रहे हैं जो कि आगे देखने को मिलेगा However, launching an MSME isn't easy. MI Technoplast encountered numerous obstacles in the beginning, finding vital support from Ugro Capital during this challenging phase. Basically, जब कोई नया कुछ कंपनी स्टार्ट करना होता है तो मेन जो फर्स्ट जो रहता है वो फाइनेंस रहता है सेकंड आपके पास बिजनेस होना चाहिए ये दोनों हर्डल्स तो हर आई थिंक हर एक न्यू स्टार्टअप को हमेशा फेस करना ही होता है तो ये दोनों हम लोगों ने हर्डल फेस किया है और उसको अगर आप फाइनेंस के उसमें बोलेंगे तो बहुत सारे बैंक बैंकिंग सेक्टर्स जो है वो सपोर्ट नहीं करते स्टार्टअप को सपोर्ट नहीं करते मतलब उस लेवल का जस्ट छोटा कुछ अगर स्टार्ट करना है तो सपोर्ट मिलता है बड़े लेवल पे स्टार्ट करने को आपने देखा होगा हमारे फील्ड में जो हम लोगों ने स्टार्ट किया ये बिल्कुल आप बोल सकते हैं बड़े लेवल पे स्टार्ट किया हम लोगों ने तो इनिशियली फाइनेंशियली आप देखेंगे तो यू ग्रो जो फाइनेंशियल कंपनी है कैपिटल जो है उन्होंने हमको बहुत सपोर्ट किया इनिशियली एक मशीन से उन्होंने स्टार्ट किया था नेक्स्ट दो मशीन और दिया मतलब ऐसा करके अभी हमारे पास करीब छः सात मशीन्स हैं और अभी करंट में हम लोगों को उन्होंने पांच और मशीन सपोर्ट किए हैं और आगे भी वो बहुत सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं होप्स हो कि और भी हम आगे बढ़ेंगे साथ में एम आई टेक्नो प्लास्ट एक्सपीरियंस ग्रोथ नॉट जस्ट इन बिजनेस बट ऑल्सो इन कलेबोरेशन विद लोकल कम्युनिटीज हु कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू देर बिजनेस एक्सपेंशन इक्वली जैसा कि आपने देखा होगा अब तो आपने विजिट किया है हमारे यहाँ आपने उसमें देखा होगा मेन है जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी हम लोगों ने दिया है आपने देखा होगा सिर्फ मेल ही नहीं फीमेल एम्प्लॉयज भी हमारे यहाँ काम कर रहे हैं तो लोकल में हम लोगों ने उनको उस वजह से सपोर्ट किया है कि लोकल का भी जो है वो एम्प्लॉयमेंट यहाँ पर होना चाहिए और वो धीरे धीरे इंक्रीज हो रहा है जैसे आपने बोला लोकल का वो आप हमारे यहाँ देखेंगे एम्प्लॉयज ऑल ओवर इंडिया से मतलब यू कैन से कर्नाटका केरला बंगाल यूपी बिहार झारखंड फ्रॉम मतलब ऑल ओवर इंडिया से हमारे एम्प्लॉयज़ काम कर रहे हैं हम लोगों ने जस्ट फाइव एम्प्लॉयज से स्टार्ट किया था आज हमारे पास हंड्रेड एम्प्लॉयज़ हैं विद इन वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स स्टिल नॉट कम्प्लीटेड वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स बट अप्रॉक्स हंड्रेड एम्प्लॉयज है अभी हमारे पास साकेत कुमार ऑल्सो वॉक आज थ्रू द स्टेजेस ऑफ मैनुफैक्चरिंग द मोल्स अगर कोई ऑटोमोटिव पार्ट है टू व्हीलर का बाइक है स्कूटी है फोर व्हीलर में आप जाएंगे इलेक्ट्रिकल कंपोनेंट्स में जाएंगे मीटर्स मल्टीमीटर्स, ड्रोन्स वन आवर वन आवर रिपोर्टेड कस्टमर इज आइडिया फॉर टेक्नोलॉजी सो बेसिकली हम लोग ऑटोमोटिव में अगर देखेंगे आप तो ऑटोमोटिव का जो भी पार्ट्स रहता है चैन कवर कस्टमर प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन हमसे शेयर करते हैं आफ्टर दैट 
हम मोल्ड डिजाइन करते हैं बेस्ड ऑन दैट कंपोनेंट डिजाइन फिर उसका मैन्युफैक्चरिंग करते हैं मोल्ड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ट्रायल करते हैं वो मोल्ड का ट्रायल करते हैं ट्रायल करने के बाद कस्टमर अप्रूवल उस प्रोडक्ट के ऊपर कस्टमर अप्रूवल होता है आफ्टर दैट वी डिस्पैच द मोल्ड टू द कस्टमर तो बेसिकली मिनिमम थर्टी डेज मैक्सिमम इफ यू विल गो फॉर फोर व्हीलर लाइक इफ यू आर मेकिंग द बम्पर मोल्ड इट विल टेक वन ट्वेंटी डेज इफ यू इफ यू विल गो फॉर टू व्हीलर पार्ट्स इट विल टेक फोर्टी फाइव टू सिक्सटी डेज फ्यूचर जो हमारा प्लान है इसलिए इस कंपनी को एक ग्रुप कंपनी बनाना है एंड करेंटली वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर न्यू बिजनेस इन बेंगलोर ऑल्सो मे बी इन दिस मंथ और नेक्स्ट मंथ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सेम सेटअप इन बेंगलोर ऑल्सो बिकॉज दे आर द बिजनेस अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड वी हैव वी हैव वेरी रिपोर्टेड कस्टमर्स इन दिस शॉर्ट स्पैम ऑफ टाइम यू कैन से इनिशियली वेन वी हैड स्टार्टेड इनिशियली थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स वी वॉर सफरिंग वी वॉर सफरिंग मीन्स फॉर बिजनेस फ्रॉम द गुड कस्टमर्स लेकिन आज के डेट में अगर देखेंगे हमारे पास मैनी ओ एम्स रिपोर्टेड ओ एम्स आर देयर रिपोर्टेड टाइवान्स आर देयर जिनका रिपीटेड बिजनेस हमारे पास आ रहा है ड्यू टू सम गुड क्वालिटी ऑन टाइम डिलीवरी एंड डेफिनेटली वील गेट सक्सेड वी वॉन्ट आवर प्लान इन ऑल ओवर इंडिया फ्राम डिफरेंट लोकेशंस एंड दैट वी विल डू वेरी शॉर्टली crediting the team for the company's success saket kumar also listed the esteemed customers they collaborate with major hamara success ke piche hamara team our team is our main strength jinke jiske karan hum logon ne itna kam time mein hum logon ne number of molds bhi zyada banaye aur hum badle grow kar rahe hain day by day हमारे टीम में जितने भी मेंबर हैं दे ऑल आर वर्किंग लाइक अ टीम चाहे वो ऑफिशियली हो अनऑफिशियली हो दे सेट दे स्टैंड टुगेदर लाइक दैट दे वर्क सो मेन स्ट्रेंथ इज आवर टीम अगर आप सिगमेंट वाइज बात करेंगे तो आ, हमारा कुछ रिपोर्टेड कस्टमर है कुछ ओइज हैं जैसे आप अगर ऑटोमोटिव में देखेंगे तो टी वी मोटर्स है जिनके लिए हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं टू व्हीलर ई वी टू व्हीलर में देखेंगे तो मेटर मोटर्स है जो अहमदाबाद की कंपनी है ड्रोन uh, इंडस्ट्री में देखेंगे तो आइडिया फोर्स टेक्नोलॉजी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड जो अभी अभी लिस्टेड हुई है तो वो उनके साथ हम काम कर रहे हैं डायरेक्टली uh, अगर अप्लाइंसेस इंडस्ट्री में देखेंगे तो यू वुड हर्ड अबाउट दैट एटम बॉल दे आर अवर कस्टमर लाइक दैट ऐसे कुछ ओइज हैं जिनके साथ हम काम कर रहे हैं अगर आप टीयर वन में जाएंगे टीयर वन में सुप्रीम इंडस्ट्रीज आपने सुना होगा जो पीपल हु नो द प्लास्टिक वेल उनका टैग लाइन है <laughs> उनके साथ हम uh, काम कर रहे हैं दे आर ऑल्सो फ्रॉम ऑटोमोटिव फील्ड तो ऐसे बहुत सारे ओ uh, एम्स और टायर वन है जिनके साथ हम रिपोर्ट काम कर रहे हैं एंड दे आर वेरी रिपोर्टेड एंड प्रोफेशनल the market ecosystem uh, is what we we call the macro or micro marketplaces are getting created every cluster is a micro uh, and there are multiple platforms like government e marketplace the ondc evolution of multiple you know b2b marketplaces all of that is getting created now as a credit provider the biggest challenge of you need three thing in lending द इंटेंट ऑफ द कस्टमर उसकी पैसा वापस करने की मंशा है हिज एलिजिबिलिटी कोई फ्रॉड का बिजनेस तो नहीं करता एंड द मोस्ट क्रिटिकल हिज रीपेमेंट एबिलिटी ये पैसा वापस कर सकता है कि नहीं कर सकता है दिस वी हैव इन्वेस्टेड वेरी हैवली इन बिल्डिंग ए प्लेटफॉर्म विच टेक्स दिस मल्टीपल डेटा पॉइंट्स एंड विद इन मिनट्स कैन से येस एंड नो हाउ मच वी कैन गिव यू एंड फॉर वॉट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड दैट इज हेल्पिंग स्मॉल बिजनेस अक्रॉस अवर चैनल to get credit from us but anyway end of the day for 85 lakh uh, crore credit gap we are just one player and i'm hoping that in this decade and next decade many number of more financial services players would get motivated to solve the problem of credit because bharat ka uthan small businesses mein hai 
That's all for this episode of Small Giants, MSMEs in the Spotlight, powered by Ugro Capital and partnered by ET Now and ET Now Swadesh. Tune in to our next episode as we put the spotlight on yet another remarkable MSME. Join us as we uncover their inspiring story and celebrate their contribution to our economic landscape. Thank you very much for watching.